my name is Shreyash and today I will be sharing how to create your own 2D game in Unity. For those who don't know what Unity is, Unity is basically a game programming software in which many famous games have been made. So what will you need to create your own game? You will need Unity, of course, Unity Hub to run your projects and Visual Studio to program in C Sharp. You can use Notepad or almost any text editor to program in C Sharp, but I recommend Visual Studio as it is better and it autofills your code and tells the error in the editor itself. In this episode, we will not program in C Sharp, but we will be looking at the basics of Unity. Make sure you check out the next few episodes of game programming after this one. So let's get started. First of all, we will open up Unity Hub to create a new project. We can do that by hitting this big blue button here. You want to make sure that your template is 2D. You can give any name to this. We will give it uh, just 2D. And you can give your custom location to store it. This is uh, my location where I store all my projects so I will keep it there. And you can hit on create. Now you can see we have a sample scene here with our only our main camera. If you have selected the template correctly then your scene should look like this. Now we will need a bunch of assets to work with our project. We can simply go to the asset store, unity asset store by clicking on this, switching from scene view to asset store or you can go to window general and select the asset store or simply you can do control line now you can navigate to the asset that you want to download make sure your asset is 2d i recommend the best 2d assets that you can get are Sunnyland and free platform game assets. For now, I will download free platform game assets. Now, once you find the asset you want to import, then click on this big, big blue import button. It will download the assets and import them into your scene. Now, once you get this window, where you can see everything that will that is included in our package for instance if you have a background then you can uncheck this so you will not download the background and you will download everything else for now i want everything so i will click on import now our asset has gotten imported i will quickly uh, get another one, another asset. Now I have imported my two assets that I want. They are Sunnyland and Bayard Games free platform game assets. You can import them from the asset store as I had shown earlier. Now if we go in these folders and search for our, our tile, this is the tiles folder. We don't want 2.5D tiles, we want 2D tiles. And I'm just going to do it. Uh, spring 256 by 256. And we can just drag and drop them in. And you can see that works very nicely. We can move them around and we can place them wherever we want. And we can sketch out the level like this. But obviously before that we need a background so let's uh, go ahead and grab a background for us do a rest version and, drag and drop that in and that works perfectly but uh, there is an error that happens to some people that their grass block disappears when they add a background so to fix that you will uh, we will fix it via something called as sorting layers so select your background go to sorting layer and add a sort uh, sorting layer click on the plus sign to add a sorting layer 
called background drag and drop that in so this is the drawing order so first it will draw the background then it will draw the default layer so we will uh, create another sorting layer called foreground just in case and now we will go to the background and ch change the sorting layer to background so that then your tile will appear and you can find the sorting layer thing under additional settings and sprite renderer now let's add a coin to our game so uh, they have already supplied us with a coin animation and you can find it under coin animation and now you can see there are many coins here so there are uh, many different images here so how will we add them as one single animation to do that we will go under this coin animation folder under png then select i'm going to select the low, low res version then click on image 1 hold shift and click on image 1 and then click on image 16 so you have got all the coins here you can see the preview and you can drag and drop that them in now unity will notice that we are dragging a bunch of assets together or pictures together and it will tell us to create an animation for it so we will store it in our uh, assets asset folder so mind me i will just go to my asset folder and here i will create a new folder called animation so we will store all our future animations in here as well and we'll go inside animation and we'll call this animation the coin animation hit save and immediately uh, unity will create a new folder in our in your assets called animation and there are two things here so this is the coin anime animator and animation controller and this is the coin animation so once your coin is in place you want to actually animate that coin so you can see there is an animator here that will animate our coin and there is an animation window here that will show us the animation or if it is isn't there for yours then just go under window animation and you can open animation by control 6 or here or animator by here so if you move this around then you can see it is playing actual one picture at one second or not one second one frame so you can go through your animation slowly but if you actually want it to play so you can click on the play button then your animation will play it will keep repeating once it finishes now you can uh, play this in another way also you can play the actual game to look at the animation so if we play the game right now our coin is spinning so that works also Now if we want our coin to have physics, we can do that too by selecting the coin and uh, going to add component physics 2D and there are a bunch of things you can play around with for the physics of, our, of your coin. We want the box collider 2D to collide with our uh, grass block. And you can see there is also an animator component in there because we saved it as an animation dot anim. So our box collider is there. We can give it a size of one on the X. That's better. Now if we want uh, to make our coin fall onto our platform, which is our grass tile. 
we will add something called as the we want to add a rigid body to our coin so our coin will fall down search for rigid and you can see rigid body 2d make sure you select 2d or it will not work drag your coin up somewhere and play our game and you can see our coin falls down so we want to actually collide with our grass block so we will add the box collider here so let's add a box collider to box collider 2d make sure you select 2d and now if we play i think it will go wrong as well because we we don't have a collider on our grass so if you actually hit f to focus on the coin you can see there is a green line around the coin you may not see it in the screen recording but i can see it now if we want our grass block to have a collider too so add a box collider to the Let's check if it works or it just falls through. No, it works. So as you can see, our coin has fallen down onto our grass block. It is touching the grass block. That's okay. For now, we will continue with this only. So these are like the basics of working with 2D objects in Unity. because this asset has a bunch of tiles in it it would work great with a tile based workflow now i'm going to create a tile map to do this we can right click on hierarchy select 2d object and tile map this will create a grid in our hierarchy if we select the grid you can see there is a actual grid here i will just change the cell size to 2 by 2 because that is way better than 1 by 1 now we will open up the tile palette so you can open the tile palette like that name this as the grass will ask us to save it i will create a new folder called palette and click on select folder now we will uh, go ahead and grab all our grass tiles we will do the same shift click and we will drag them in our grass palette and it will ask us again to save it and you can see we have a grass palette here and we can just paint any level like this that is uh, pretty great but but we don't want it to be like this you can see that our uh, grass block doesn't quite line up with our grid to change that let me just get rid of this and to change that you will have to select all your sprites by pressing shift selecting the first one and selecting the last one and change the pixels per unit to 128 then you should see and then go uh, anywhere else and any other folder and then it will come that if you want to apply your settings let's click on apply then select 
a block and as you can see it snaps with our grid right in place now i will use the paint paint tool and the eraser tool to paint up a quick level So I have sketched out my level. You also do the same. Get creative and create your own different levels. If you enjoyed the video or if you learned something new today, make sure to press that like button. I will be back in the next episode when we will make our player move. Until then, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.